I recently had a friend come over and she was extremely surprised by the fact that none of my machines are automated, right? Everything that I do, I actually move under a stationary needle. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't have the type of machines where you just put it in and, you know, the machine does it for you. So I wanted to kind of show what that looks like and how we actually quilt a quilt, right? So what is a quilt? A quilt is essentially a pieced, right, uh, top, which is all these small pieces of fabrics pieced together in order to create the top, right? And then you have the batting, which is, you know, this puffy stuff in the middle, that's a nice soft texture. And then you have the back, which um, obviously is the back of the quilt. So anyways, I wanted to just quickly show people some of the process of, you know, how we do this. So this machine here is called a midarm, and it's called that. It's called a sweet 16 because of the throat size of the machine is 16 inches from from here to here, thus allowing you to move much more material through this part here, right? So when you're dealing with really large quilts like this one, which is a king size, it's very important to have that as much room as you can from the needle, which is here, right? Through to the back of the machine so that you can move an entire large quilt through it. Anyhow, that's kind of the basis of it, and I wanted to show you just a little bit about how I actually go through and quilt a large project. Hold on one second, let me get this. All right, hopefully you can see that. Um, so this is what I use, is just a thick plastic ruler, a template. Um, I have other shapes that I use as well, but for this one, um, I will just use this. I have these very cool gloves that I will often use. I don't know where the other one is. Damn it. All right, got it. Okie doke. So, special Michael Jackson gloves are on. They, again, have these kind of rubber sticky pads to them, allowing me to move uh, the fabric more successfully under the needle. All right, so I get my thick plastic template, I line it up here, and then I just will go through and... Like that, right? And then just keep moving it around. Line it up. This ruler has grids on it so that I can kind of track where I am. And so I'll just go through and do this square by square until the whole thing is done. But essentially that's it, um, and it is manually manipulating and moving the fabric under a stationary needle the entire time. Ah, see, now my thread just broke. Ugh. Hate that. All right. Time to rethread. Then this is what it looks like when it's not quilted, and this is what it looks like when it is. Very nice. <laughs>